Hey, so welcome back, and this is another daily code problem. So today it's called Investments in 2016, and it's a hard level SQL problem here. So essentially, oh, I don't want to show you the answer just yet. What you're given is just one table, which kind of simplifies things a bit. So you're given a, a, a unique identifier, which is the primary key for the table. And then you're also getting the TIV, I called it. I never really, okay, it's the total investment value um, that you have for 2015 and then the total investment value for 2016. And then you're also given the latitude and longitude, which is used to indicate like the particular policyholder city, uh, which I thought was a interesting way to do it, but I guess they're just trying to make it more challenging for us. But basically, what you want to do is there's kind of a format for figuring out which rows we want to return, but we want to calculate the sum here of all of those total investment values, so the TIV here, but for 2016, but we only want to take the sum of certain rows here. And the way you establish that is by saying, okay, first we need to figure out which rows have the same TIV as one or more of the other policyholders um, in this table. And so one case of that would be here, like say this policyholder um, three here has the same uh, total investment value in 2015 as policyholder number four, because they both have 10. So that's like, you know, one case of, okay, we might consider this um, policyholder now. But then also, you also want to consider, okay, we have to make sure that they're not located in the same city of any other policyholder, okay? And so to do that, what you do here is you say, okay, the way you figure out the, the city they're in is just their latitude and longitude. And so because these two uh, policyholders, number two and number three here, they have the same latitude and longitude, so we know they're actually in the same city. And so in that case, you're not going to want to consider either of these rows. But then, okay, well, for the rows that we do want to consider, well, this one here does have a total investment value in 2015 that's the same as another row, so that's good. So we want to include a five in our total. But then also this row four here they are okay good like they're not in the same city as anyone else but then also they have the same TIV for um, 2015 as someone else so you want to consider these two rows take the sum of the 2016 value and that's what gets you 45. okay and the only other catch here is okay we want to uh, round this to two decimal points I guess you're given other values in here that are like float, floating points. So yeah, you can see that um, these total investment values can be a floating point. They just give you like solid numbers in these examples, which is um, kind of misleading, I think. But yeah, so let's go ahead into implementing this. So I initially did this a longer way with like multiple joins and a big subquery here. You can pause the video if you want to take a look at it, but I won't bore you with it because um, I saw in the comments and I just made sure I understood how to do it. Uh, there's a much better way. Often when you don't think of using a Windows function, you go down like a longer, kind of more MySQL, um, what do I call it, like legacy uh, query route without using Windows uh, functions. So they're really help making the code concise, uh, especially, but they're also uh, very performant. So what we're gonna do is we want to figure out those two cases. And both of these cases we can actually handle independently using a uh, Windows function. And so the rows that we want to return, or the column, sorry, is just this total investment value. Um, and so let's go ahead and just select that right out the gate. So we're going to select this TIV. And we're going to say OK. And we're going to want the sum of it and that's going to be just what we're returning here and that's it and once again we want to round that to two decimal points so to do that we can just wrap this in the function round and just put two there 
okay? But this is gonna come from a subquery because we only wanna consider those that pass these cases. And so, oh, I don't wanna use those. And so what we wanna say is, okay, naturally we're gonna want this total investment value for 2016 to be returned so that we can do this. But then we also wanna figure out which of those meet this criteria. Okay, and so we wanna say, and I just find filling this out beforehand where the, we'll call it, um, um, like policyholders, like, um, has same TIV 2015, right? So that's like the first case that we wanna consider. So we want this greater than one, right? So this would be like count of same TIV 2015. And so that's the first case. So we want to have a count that's greater than that total investment value for 2015. And we also want to make sure that we have the um, only one instance of this particular city in the entire database. Because you saw here that once we see that, okay, for this particular row here, when we're considering it, we consider the first case, if that's satisfied, then we say, okay, we want to make sure that this city has only one instance in the entire um, table here. And so we just say like count of this city should be equal to one, right? And so this is kind of the field that we want to use to indicate what is the count or the number of instances of this city. And so there should be only one in this entire table. Okay, so to get those columns, all that you have to do is, this is just coming from our insurance table. And so we can just give this a temporary name, like a subquery here. And so, this is just coming from this insurance table and we want to fill in two extra columns in the windows functions that we're going to use is first we want to take the count and so and that's because we want to get the count of which of those policyholders have the same um, total investment value for 2015 as the same row so because these windows functions are on a row basis we're saying okay how many other rows have the same 2015 total investment value? And that's, we're going to do this by over, and we're just going to partition by that total investment value for 2015. Great, and so let's just name this, uh, this column name that we figured out. Right, so once again, um, all that's happening here is that we're taking the count of all the different rows by partitioning by this total investment value for 2015 so we know like how many other rows have the same total investment value for this year okay and then the next um, case that we want to consider is very similar here but we're doing the count of those in the same city because we really want to make sure that for this current row there's no other um, cities or there's no other policyholders in the same city and so to do that, we're just going to partition by their latitude as well as their longitude. Okay, and so because these are how you distinguish the parts of the cities, you can actually specify both as if it's like kind of like one column to indicate the city. So it really doesn't make that much harder. You just have to specify both in this um, partition by clause. So let's try running that. Oh, um, looks like something's wrong. Oh, I just don't need a comma here. Try that again, looks good. And submit it, so yeah, and it's quite performant too. You can see that it's 52%. Well, this one was, and these aren't very reliable stats, but well, this one was like 5%. So using Windows functions, try to think of them first. Typically, it's like very a simple thought of like, okay, I want the count of you know how many other policyholders have the same city and so you just partition by whatever distinguishes a city from a different city and this is just the count of okay is there at least one other policyholder that has the same total investment value in 2015 okay so let's add that to our rare clause and just you know we propagate this total investment value for 2016 up a level 
and just sum it and round it. So yeah, I hope that helped and good luck with the rest of your algorithms. So thanks for watching. See ya.